Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at DynamoDB transactions. DynamoDB transactions simplify the process to make all or nothing updates to multiple items within one table or across multiple tables. A transaction is a sequence of operations that are grouped together so that either all operations succeed or nothing succeeds. If one operation in the transaction fails, the whole transaction fails. DynamoDB transactions provide you with an ACID model. ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. An ACID transaction guarantee that data remain consistent and valid, despite any failures or errors during the transaction. Transaction APIs offer the transact get items and transact write items operations that let you group multiple reads or writes into a single operation. There is no additional cost to enable transactions for your DynamoDB tables. You pay only for the reads or writes that are part of your transaction. However, DynamoDB performs two underlying read or write actions for every item in a single transaction. One action is for preparing the operation, and another action is for committing the transaction. ACID is the acronym of atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. ACID is a set of properties of database transactions, which guarantees that data in the database remain consistent and valid, despite any failures or errors during the transaction. Atomicity guarantees that all operations in a transaction are treated as a single unit, which either succeeds completely, or fails completely. Consistency guarantees that a transaction can only bring the database from one valid state to another. It prevents corruption from any illegal or incomplete transactions. Isolation guarantees that concurrent execution of transactions leaves the database in the same state as if they were executed sequentially. Durability guarantees that once a transaction has been committed, it remains committed even in the event of an outage, such as power outage or system failure. Here is an example of all or nothing transactions. Suppose you have a product table and order table for your future electronic store. The product table maintains products and inventory information. The order table tracks all customer orders. When your customer Jeff has placed a new order of 10 desktop robotic arms, the application will run a series of operations as a single all or nothing transaction to process the order. First, you need to check if there is enough stock in the product table. The process only continues if the condition is satisfied. Next, your application deducts 10 robotic arms from the inventory in the product table. Finally, your application creates a new order for Jeff in the order table. If there is an error occur at any stage, you would expect the transaction to automatically roll back, for example, removing the order and restoring the stock quantity. Without a rollback mechanism, any mishap would leave the database in the invalid state. Manual rollback on the application layer would be cumbersome, as we need to update the rollback process if we change the operation sequence. An all-or-nothing transaction groups a series of operations together as a single transaction. A transaction succeeds only if all operations succeed. It prevents any partial or incomplete updates that can cause data inconsistency. Transact Write Items is a synchronous and idempotent write transaction that can group up to 25 write actions, including the put, update, delete, and condition check actions. Synchronous transaction means each subsequent operation can be executed, only if the previous operation succeeds. Idempotency helps prevent data errors, in case the same operation has been submitted multiple times, due to any connectivity issues. The put action initiates a put item operation to create a new item, or replace an old item. The update action initiates an update item operation to modify an existing item, or add a new item if it doesn't exist. The delete action initiates a delete item operation to delete an item in the table. The condition check action checks if an item exists, or the condition of the specific attribute is satisfied. These actions are completed atomically, so that either all of them succeed or none of them succeeds. Transact get items is a synchronous read transaction that can group up to 25 get actions together. Each get action initiates a get item operation to retrieve a set of attributes for the item with the given primary key. If no matching item is found, the get action doesn't return any data. Each transaction can target up to 25 items in one or more tables in the same AWS account and AWS region. The aggregate size of the items in the transaction cannot exceed 4 megabytes, which means a transaction can only contain a maximum of 4 megabytes of data. Both batch operations and transactions let you group multiple actions. However, there are some key differences. 
Batch operations allow you to read or write multiple items with a single bulk operation. Batch get item and batch write item are simple wrappers of multiple read or write requests. DynamoDB performs individual reads or writes in parallel. A batch operation doesn't fail, unless all the requests fail. Each read or write is an independent request. If one read or write fails, other requests within a batch operation are not affected. DynamoDB transactions allow you to group multiple read or write operations as a workflow, using transact get items or transact write items. Operations in a transaction are interdependent, as no partial transaction is allowed. A transaction fails if any individual request fails. DynamoDB processes the transaction as the all-or-nothing operation, so that all of the requests succeed or none of them succeeds. Each transaction performs two reads or writes for each item in a single transaction. For the best performance, you should provision enough capacity for extra operations, for example, you can enable auto-scaling or on-demand capacity. You need to make sure the transact write items operation is idempotent. AWS SDK has built-in idempotent support. For non-AWS SDKs, you should include a client request token for each transaction, to ensure each transaction is idempotent. Do not group operations together in a transaction unless it's necessary. If a group of operations can return the same result individually as if they were in a single transaction, you should split up the transaction to improve the throughput. If a set of attributes is often updated across multiple items in a single transaction, you can group these attributes into a single item to reduce the complexity of the transaction. You should avoid using transactions to ingest data in bulk. For bulk write operations, you can use batch write items instead. In this episode, we've learned DynamoDB transactions. DynamoDB transactions simplify the process to make all or nothing updates to multiple items both within one table or across multiple tables. Transactions provide an ACID model in DynamoDB. An ACID transaction guarantee that data remain consistent and valid, despite any failures or errors during the transaction. Transaction APIs offer the transact get items and transact write items operations that let you group multiple reads or writes into a single transaction. Each transaction performs two underlying reads or writes of each item in a single transaction. For the best performance, you need to provision enough capacity for extra operations. For example, you can enable auto-scaling or on-demand capacity. Okay, that's all for DynamoDB transactions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!